Today's video is about Find and Replace in Excel. Now you're probably familiar with this feature from Office Applications, so you might be wondering, is it even worth doing a video on Find and Replace? Isn't it super straightforward? I think you're going to be surprised. Let's use these demo files to do some examples. First question, how do we get to the Find dialog box? Well, we can go to Home, Find and Select, and click Find from here, or we use the shortcut key, Control F. Now you're probably familiar with the Find functionality, not just from Excel, but also from other Office applications. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. What I just wanna show you are some additional options that can come in really handy in Excel and they're hidden under this tab options. So if you're looking for something, let's say I'm looking for Layla, I can decide if I wanna look for it within the sheet or within the entire workbook. So by switching this to workbook, it goes through every single tab and it looks for the name that you typed in there. Now you can search by rows or by columns, that just decides the search direction, so if it should go this way or if it should go this way. This part, look in, can come in handy, especially if you're looking for something inside comments. So let's say I wanna look for Layla inside comments, I just have to switch this to comments and I'm gonna switch this as well and click on find all or find next. Right, so the advantage of find all is that it gives you the list of all the occurrences and find next just jumps to the next one. Right, so there is a comment here and it has my name in there. Now there were two other options in there which was formulas and values. These are pretty much the same except that formulas also looks at the formula text. Now if I had this on formulas and I want to look for Layla and I click on find next, it goes through every tab in the workbook and it doesn't find it because Layla only exists inside the comment. Now the list that you get here can also come in really handy. So let's say instead of Layla, I'm going to look for game and I'm just going to look for it on this sheet and not in comments, but in formulas. And I'm going to click on find all. Now this gives me all the occurrences that game has occurred on this sheet. The good thing is this, I can press control down to highlight everything here. And it doesn't only highlight it here, but notice it also highlighted it on my sheet. So if I leave this, I can see all of these are highlighted and I could change the color of the cells to yellow or do any other type of formatting that you'd like. Now, another thing that can come in handy is if you're searching and replacing something and you also wanna change the formatting. Let's go back to our dialog box, but this time let's jump to the replace dialog box directly. So what's the shortcut for that? It's control H, right? Now here, let's replace game with health. But instead of just replacing the words here, let's also change the formatting. So on the right hand side, we have the ability to decide the format that we want. Click on format here. I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna select no color and go with that. Now I'm just gonna click replace all for everything that's on this worksheet. Okay, and it made 12 replacements. Okay, so this part of searching and replacing for specific formatting can come in really handy. For example, let's say that your company decided to change its logo color and you need to replace the colors that you used before with the new colors. So let's say in this case, I have this light blue color used here. I'm using it on a lot of tabs and I need to replace these with a light green color. Here I can use find and replace to do that. I'm gonna go back with control H. Since I'm not looking for specific words, I'm just gonna delete them from here. But instead, I wanna look for a specific formatting. Now I'm not exactly sure what type of blue this is. So I'm gonna click on format and say, choose format from cell. Right, so I can be lazy here and just click on this. It picked up that format. Now I'm gonna go and decide the format that I wanna have instead. Let's go with this lighter green. Now on this sheet, I'm gonna replace it all. It made five replacements, right? It didn't touch these and it didn't touch this. Why? 
That's because it picked up all attributes of the cell. So it wasn't just the color that it picked up, but it picked up the number formatting. So notice this one has percentage and not number. This one is bold, right? So it also has a different formatting to this. This means that if you just want to change the color and not take a look at the other aspects of the cell, then make sure that you actually just pick that specific color from the dialog box. So let's go and check what color blue this actually is. I'm just going to go to the fill color here, go to more colors under custom here. I need this code. So that's the RGB. Let's memorize this and let's go back to our find and replace. I'm going to go control H. Now, first thing I'm going to do is to completely clear this formatting here. Now I'm going to go to format and pick up that color that we saw. So under custom, let's type in that code. Now let's do this for the entire workbook. Click on replace all. Okay, so that looked through every single tab and wherever it found that color, it replaced it with the new color. So you see Excel's find and replace can do a lot more than just search for text. It can also search and replace formatting, which can come in really handy too. Let me know in the comments if you've used this aspect before. And if you like this video, click on that thumbs up and do consider subscribing if you'd like to get updates when I post new videos here.